XHR contacted me a month after laying me off to ask for passwords and where things are stored. And I'm so pissed about how much it ruined what was otherwise a great day, full of interview callbacks and time with my kid. I don't have full answers but it would take me less than 5 minutes to give them suggestions of where to find what they're looking for but honestly fuck them. It pulled me right back to how I felt when I was working there. Just completely used, disposable and disrespected. If I just don't reply and block the sender, will this come back to me in any way? I had this happen with the company I had left. They asked me to come in after a few months to explain them a system I had built. I told them that I spent my last week writing an extensive documentation for it like they asked me to and that the info isn't there. They told me it would be faster if I explained it to them. I asked them when I should come in, they told me a date, I said I don't have time on that day and hung up. It's called consulting and it can be very lucrative. Quote them a price that will make it worth your while to go in for a day and sort them out. I worked for a country club once. They fired me for someone who was going to be part-time. Then they asked me to come back and train her. I said she could have an hour of my time, I was younger and more naive, she didn't show up. They asked me if I would come back I told them if they wanted me to do the job they shouldn't have fired me. No. Fuck him. You don't work for them, it's their problem. You've already done more to try to help them get their shit together than you needed to. They laid you off, it was their job to figure out how to deal with that. Block them, or tell them that you would be happy to continue assisting if they're willing to compensate you for the time. $200 per hour, minimum 1 hour blocks, payable in advance. Their lack of preparation is not your emergency. Time to earn some money. Charge 200 euros, or whatever you think is enough, per started hour. This reminds me of the law firm I worked for. They put me on furlough during COVID. During the three months I was canned, the new associate attorney who is a baby makes huge mess of files. Cases he works on with the partners of the firm. When I return I don't know where anything is hard copy, or in the computer. He was saving things to his personal email and when a partner would ask me where things were, I didn't know. I got a terrible review. After I quit I had them all texting me and emailing and calling me asking where this or that was located, at first I told them to ask baby lawyer, but he quit. I blocked them all. Never felt more peaceful. Fuck those snakes. You don't work there anymore. It is literally none of your business. They wanted to handle that better? Should have treated you better. If you want to, you tell them. 1. I'm coming in on a consultant contract too. I get paid $500 per hour as a consultant. For a minimum of 8 hours 3. I get that in a binding contract 4. I will be paid up front 5. If you try to negotiate the consultant fee. The first negotiation is that the fee is now $1000 per hour. If you try to negotiate that you shot your load and I'm not coming in. They laid you off. It's their problem. If they want to have it fixed, it happens on your terms, not theirs. Do not relent, do not back down, don't be shamed, talked down to, verbally abused without it costing them more at every iteration. Whatever you do, get it in writing, get paid and get paid first. Tell them by laying you off it showed the relationship with your employer was purely transactional. And based on monetary value. By extending the same logic if they want any help from you they will need to pay for it. Quote them a price which you feel the information is worth. If they pay you greater else they will stop calling you. You can honestly say, I don't keep passwords from past employment at home, and tell them it's. They're somewhere. Wasn't your job to store passwords at your personal space. If you don't need them for a reference anymore just ghost them. No need to lie or threaten their info on the dark web. Just ghost no blocking emails or anything. Ignore them all. LOL ignore and block. They can go fuck themselves. Not your pig not your farm. Block those dummies. You could. Ignore them. 
Send them a contract for consultation rates and tell them to let you know if they want to do business. Tell them no. Tell them you do not have the information. Tell them you are not interested in helping them. Donate your time SND knowledge to help someone who threw you away like garbage. Yeah, that last one is a definite no. It's what they are asking for and Thry are clearly interested only in charity that flows benefit towards them so fuck that. I'd not do a single thing for them. Personally. But. If you choose to help them. Make them pay you at least 5x your old rate. And a minimum fee that includes the first 20 hours. So. If you used to make $10 per hour. It'll cost $1000 for you to walk in the door. For that. You consult up to 20 hours total within a 30 day period. After those 20 hours. The billable rate is $50 per hour with a minimum of 4 hour bill rate per occurrence. If they ask you for file location and you answer. That's 200 bucks. It will either get you paid or not contacted once they understand it's a fee service. If they contact you anyway. Send an invoice and refuse to say anything in response except. You have overdue invoices. I can't help you. Sorry. You don't work for them, you owe them absolutely fuck all. Ghost them. I once had a company that laid me off call me about attending a meeting with another company about. A project that I had worked on. When I said they would have to pay me for the meeting they offered $75 per hour. I said no, it would cost $2,500 for the roughly 3 hour meeting. They said that the highest rate they would pay for anyone in my field would be $150 per hour. I said they should hire someone else for that amount or just have the meeting without me. They ended up paying what I asked and the new company ended up hiring me later. No. It won't come back on you. They can't sue or retaliate. You don't work there. You are not an employee. They are not paying you. So don't provide your time, labor, expertise. Had this happened to me. Called my buddy who still worked there and had the guy reported and reprimanded by management for. Not being prepared and offboarding me properly. Since I was terminated by XXXXX I have sourced a new career path in consultancy. I can solve problems in this area for $XXX per hour. Something of this magnitude will likely take around X hours. Please get in touch if you would like to engage my services. It's one thing if you quit. And still have a good relationship with them and they didn't treat you shitty. But. These people fired you. Fuck. Them. I've been down this road but it was more insidious. I worked for a company and I was a B2B field engineer. I set up and maintained servers for small companies. My new boss has me drive two states away to have a meeting with him to discuss more sales performance. I wasn't upselling a lot but my reoccurring revenue was through the roof. I'll explain later. Basically. I'm told I'm going to be let go in six months. Etc etc. I quit two weeks later. I get a call from boss man. That I missed my monthly service days with clients 15 to 20 clients. Yeah. We had deals worked out with the companies that I'd spend sometimes an entire day there doing any. Tasks they wanted and they'd pay between $2 to $3 K for it. MRR. If not on site time I'd book things they wanted done against their retainer and do it. So. My new jobs that were simple jobs I'd send to our third party outsourcer but these big jobs I handled. This led to lower new revenue but crazy reoccurring revenue. After I quit. And the boss was getting all these complaints. I got a call in from him where he said and I quote. I demand you go out and service these customers on behalf of our company. Quote. I laughed. And told him. You don't have the ability to demand anything from me anymore. You want me to help them? Sure. I need a check overnighted to my address for 
the cost they were paying to the company. I never got my check. And a few weeks later I got a call from his boss demanding I help the customers. I was offered my old job back with a substantial raise. I turned it down. For reference it wasn't like the companies were locked out of their servers. The owners of the companies and anyone they wanted had domain admin, enterprise admins. So, they could easily have just set up another domain admin and given them full access to their environments. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.